Hi, welcome to Julie's Kitchen. Today we're going to make something called goji berry balls. These are a great treat to have on hand to take to picnics, to have in the freezer when you're having your little sugar, dopamine high that you need to go in that needs something kind of healthy. They're wonderful. They're absolutely wonderful. I'm going to walk you through how to make them today. I want you to make them and have them on hand, put them in the freezer, put them in the fridge, take them to your next party. They're fabulous. They're easy to make, but you might need some things you don't have. So I'm going to go through the ingredients and make sure you have everything in your pantry. So first thing you do is you need a nut butter. And if you haven't seen my nut butter video, watch them. When you make a nut butter or buy a nut butter, you simply want the nut. So this recipe calls for any nut butter, but I use two cups of almond butter. And the ingredient list on here says simply almonds. So you want a pure nut butter, any nut butter you like, you can make it or buy it. So I used almond nut butter. This is two cups, the whole jar. So two cups of almond butter, one cup of rolled oats. Once again, source your oats, make sure you're getting a good quality oats. A half a cup of pecans, chopped, I chopped these up. One cup of dried shredded coconut, okay? The coconut will be in the goji berry balls as well as the coating. We'll go through that. A half a cup of pure maple syrup. Find pure maple syrup, make sure that's what you're getting. There's lots of other imitations in the store. You might have a farmer that gets it right there on his farm. So get pure maple syrup. Currants, currants are um, in the dried area of your store. You can find them in bulk in the Whole Food type stores or you can find them in a box. Um, in the regular grocery store. Goji berries are a high protein. It's a berry from South America. It's a 4,000 year old food. It's a dried berry. It's full of protein and amino acids. It's amazing, amazing superfood. So as I call my goji berry balls, you put three quarters of a cup in. The maca powder is also a superfood. It's also an ancient root. And this is the powder of the root, a tablespoon of maca. Once again, you'll find the gojis of the maca either online or at a whole food store. Sesame seeds, two tablespoons of sesame seeds. That's also a superfood, and they're easy to find. But if you can't, you know, your Indian store has sesame seeds for sure, but the regular grocery has them, and so does your bulk area of your organic food stores. Cinnamon, three uh, quarters of a tablespoon of cinnamon, and then two to three tablespoons of virgin coconut oil. Once again, source your coconut oil. Make sure it's virgin cold pressed. You want the nicest olive oil you can find. I've even found this in a glass jar, which is nice. So you're not absorbing any of the plastic. So you mix it all together in a bowl. Mix all these ingredients together. And you'll see here, my mix here looks something like this. It's all mixed together. And you start forming them into balls. Of course, it's it's your choice of how big they make. It makes about 30 um, one inch round balls. And you take the balls and you just make them. It goes pretty quick. And you roll it in some shredded coconut. Like I'm doing here. And you put it on a plate. And then you put them in baggies or whatever and you put them in the freezer. And I am here to tell you, you will be extremely extremely happy with how, how yummy they are and your friends and family and everybody will adore them and one really does the trick for your sweet tooth so that's my gift to you for today have a great day